Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This will also be recorded on YouTube um, and uploaded later um, in case some people aren't able to stay the whole time or need to pop in or out. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and get started now. Um, so I can start by introducing myself. So my name is Ava Luna Pardo Keegan. I'm the peer advisor for computer science engineering, um, and I'm a junior in computer science engineering. Um, I'm from Michigan. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to be interviewing Massa today. So if you guys want to introduce yourself, maybe tell us a little bit about who you are, what your role is, um, and things like that. We can get started. Okay. Um, so hi, I'm Julie. I'm a sophomore majoring in CS. I'm from California. On Massa, I'm in charge of the development of a software application for our mission control. So that allows us to control things like valves and visualize our sensor data. In addition to that, I'm also the business lead for Massa, so I'm in charge of getting sponsorships for the team and also it, like our marketing and other um, other business things like that. Awesome. Hi, I'm Evan. I'm a junior in computer engineering. Uh, I'm, I'm from Michigan as well. Uh, on Massa, I do mostly hardware stuff, so board design, but also firmware development, um, project management, oh. that sort of thing. Oh, and I'm Jose. I'm the current avionics lead for Massa. I'm a senior in aerospace and computer engineering. And I'm basically managing uh, all the hardware and software projects here. Awesome. Thank you for introducing yourselves. And then I guess to get started, if you guys could tell us a little about what MASA is and what it stands for um, and what the main goal is, or I guess your main mission um, with your project team is. Right. So MASA stands for Michigan Aeronautical Science Association. And our main goal is to launch rockets. So on um, a little bit of team history. So before we used to work a lot of solid rockets that means like our kind of like the propellant we use is solid but now we're moving to liquid rockets which is way more complex and involves a lot of adding a lot of new stuff to our systems so right now we're trying to launch the first uh liquid rocket for massa that's awesome okay that's really cool and then could you tell me a little bit about maybe the different teams that you have um what kind of things they've worked on in the different teams too so I, uh, Massa is basically broken down into several teams. I can start with like aerodynamics. So on the aerodynamics team, basically we do all the simulation of like the shape of the rocket, how we're gonna make it like optimized for less drag. We do simulation like temperature and we use a lot of like computer aided design software to do that. Uh, moving from aerodynamics, we also have APLO that stands for assembly, test, launch and operations. And that's a very hands-on team of people like getting the tools, cutting the tubes and actually assembling the rocket and making all the tests necessary. Uh, so for example, we traveled to the Mojave Desert this summer to test our engine. And during that, the ATLO team was very hands-on like conducting the tests and uh, analyzing all the data we needed. Uh, apart from that, we have also Propulsion, which basically designs the engine and also does all the analysis to figure out like the size of the engine, the different components we have and also how much trust we need to provide to fly the rocket. Uh, besides that, we have structures teams that basically work uh, defining most of the internal structures, the structure of the rocket. So like the propellant tanks, a uh, few tank, a few tank oxidizer tank. And they also do like, so sometimes they collaborate with aerodynamics doing like the rocket fins, which basically stabilize the rocket. And I guess besides that, uh, of course, avionics, which is uh, everyone here is on avionics and we deal with all the electrical component and software. So we do a lot of board design. We do a lot of embedded software and we also do high level application. And we're currently just starting a new software team. So we have projects ranging from computer vision to database application to app development. And I guess besides that, we have the business team, which is like how we reach out to companies, how we have like external relations with other companies, how we we, we acquired funding for our projects and uh, production. So production is, is like the team that basically get all the components and they actually go to the machining shop and build everything. Am I missing any? Already, yeah, set propulsion. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, those yeah. are, yeah. yeah. I guess those that's are all the sub teams. Do you want to come here because you're not in the line? <laughs> that's awesome, thank you. Um, and then I kind of want to ask, so for you guys, did you guys have prior experience coming into MASA with some of the things that you work on now? Or what kind of skill level do you need to have to join MASA? Um, so before joining MASA, I definitely had experience of coding and working with user interfaces, but definitely like not in Python. Um, so that was new to me. I also had never worked with like 
continuous like incoming packets of data or like live data visualization so that was also new to me um but i feel like you definitely don't need prior experience to join nasa um it's definitely possible to learn as you do it yeah that's what most of the members do there aren't very many that come in already knowing things it's mm -hmm. kind of you learn as you as you go right that's great what type of ways do you guys do then to teach members who maybe don't know like anything going into the stuff that you guys do yeah, so what we try to do specifically for avionics, but I also think for other sub-teams, we schedule like work session times for like projects. So that's where more experienced members can talk to the new members and they can like identify the gaps and point out the ways to learn. We also have onboarding tutorials, like explaining how to use some tools. For example, if you want to join, let's say the flight computer project, we have an onboarding doc that explains how to download all the tools and how to start collaborating to the, to the project. Okay, awesome. That's really cool. Um, and then you mentioned before that you guys went on some trips and were testing and things like that. Could you tell me more a little bit about that? Um, what you did there? What was it like traveling there? Um, that type of things. Think Julie, take this one. Yeah, so I did go with them to Southern California over the summer. Um, so we went down to the Mojave Desert for about a week. Um, and so the testing site is like legitimately in the desert. So we had to stay at like Airbnbs like an hour out um, and then drive in every day and then drive back. Um, and it's pretty cool, even though it is a lot of hard work, because I feel like it's the kind of experience that you really probably wouldn't get anywhere else. Um, so it's pretty special. Yeah, like being in the desert in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And then you have you guys done trips like that before? Is this like a usual thing that you do every year or every semester or something? So we that's the second trip we do to the Mojave Desert. I think we start doing that because now we transitioned to liquid rockets, so it was a, a little bit more complex. And then since we need a test facility that we can like test our engine, we start doing that since last year. And then we plan to be doing every summer. Okay, yeah. awesome. Are members sponsored through that or how does that work for like traveling then? Um, so none of the costs um, have to be paid by students. Um, we really try to make sure that everything is covered by the team. And so that's part of why our business sub team is so important because uh, we try to get funding from other places. That's awesome. That's really cool. We also have a lot of local testing too, so it's not all traveling. We have a regional or a local location as well for the non hot fire tests. So when we're just running fluids through and we're not igniting anything, that can happen in Ann Arbor. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's awesome. Um, and then I wanted to ask too, kind of what companies, I was looking at your Instagram before and I see a lot of people usually do internships or things like that because you're getting hands-on experience. What kind of companies do people typically work at then um, that are in Massa? So, so at Massa we have like uh, mostly aero majors. We also have mechanical engineers and uh, computer engineers, CS. So for the aero side, people usually go to the aerospace industry like SpaceX, Blue Origin, Northrop Grumman, Raytheon, I guess. On the computer science side, uh, I had the opportunity to work at Amazon and also Microsoft doing software engineering over the summer. And that was definitely like uh, working at Massa helped me to like fill my resume with projects. So mm -hmm. that was uh, a good opportunity. And computer engineering side, I guess they also mostly go like to the aerospace industry, but to work with avionics and do hardware. Uh, do you want to talk about your experience? Uh, I worked in the automotive industry over the last couple summers um, at a company that's near here. Um, and there's a lot of people that aren't really interested mm -hmm. in the aerospace industry, but that's still around the team. Um, mm -hmm. So people like that won't necessarily go to those big aerospace companies, but there's a lot of other opportunities for them um, that NASA kind of helps build towards. Awesome. Would you say then that some of the skills that you learned from NASA were also applied then to internships that you guys had mentioned that you've done? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, at least the projects I worked on, there was pretty much a one-to-one -one correspondence between what I worked on over the summer and what I worked on here. That's awesome. That's really cool. Um, and then with that, you mentioned like you were able to put stuff on your resume specifically from Massa. Do you guys also work on professional opportunities in Massa, kind of like helping people with resumes? Yeah, so we have a leadership team uh, and the vice president is usually responsible for hosting like info sessions with Massa members and industry. And those are usually like specific to the members. Mm -hmm. And yeah, people usually reach out because either they're like mass alumni or they just like are very interested in our work. And then we get those opportunities. Yeah. And I guess like we also have a website. So people get our emails and they constantly send like updates asking for like resume books. That's yeah. awesome. 
So for some of our like corporate uh, partners, um, they also come in to visit us and hold like info sessions and recruiting sessions. Um, so recently Relativity, um, they make like 3D printed rockets. Um, they came in to have a recruiting session with us. That's really cool. That's awesome. And then I guess um, with that, what are some ways then that computer science engineering or computer engineering students like you guys can get involved specifically in NASA? You mentioned a new software team. When is that getting started or is it already started and how can people join? Yeah, so the software team is already started. We started uh, this semester. Uh, the way to get involved, uh, we have no application. It's pretty much just like letting us know you're interested in to join. We have weekly uh, meetings for avionics. They're like Monday, 6.30 p.m. on GFL 107. So if you just show up to one of those meetings, you'll be able to talk to anyone and we'll be happy like to guide you how to get started. So specifically talking about the projects uh, on the software team right now, we're doing like computer vision application to read uh, measurement from pressure gauges. We also starting our own app development because like we want members to be like to have an mass app on their phone where they can see like the calendar, have access to, to our internal wiki and also like have access to test data so they can run any kind of analytics. Uh, another project is, yeah. We're also doing our own database engine. So basically like instead of st storing everything in Google Drive there you can like go and like search for the data. We just want to be able like to create a way to sort that efficiently and just like query the data and run analytics very quickly. That's awesome. That's really cool. You guys have a lot of cool projects that you're working on. So just to reiterate, so students can just kind of like show up to those meetings um, and kind of get started on projects. Is there any specific ones that they have to like apply to or they can just join any project they're interested in? Yeah, so there's no application and also something I think is really important to point out is that no previous experience required mm -hmm. because we're here to help everyone get started and like help everyone find what their interests are. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of previous members that have experience on that. So they kind of work as mentors for new members. Yeah. That's awesome. And the, the way the meetings kind of work, our weekly Monday meetings, those give an overview of every project that we have active right now and also team updates as well. So you can kind of see what the rest of the team is working on. But during those project updates, you can see what's available to work on, figure out who the lead is for each of those projects. Um, so you have someone to talk to if you're interested in getting involved and you can kind of see where each project is at and where um, there might be opportunities to join. That's awesome. Okay, that's perfect. Um, and then I guess with that, I wanted to ask for you guys who are CS or CE majors, what is the time commitment like or how has it been balancing classes with that? Um, I think it depends on who the person is and also how long they've been on the team. Um, obviously, the people that have been on the team tend to be more committed to it. Mm -hmm. um, they'll put in more time. Um, they also tend to be the people with the leadership position, so it kind of naturally goes that way. But I'd mm -hmm. say for most people that start on the team, it's maybe a couple hours a week, mm -hmm. if that, um, like showing up to meetings and then work sessions. Um, so at first, a lot of people don't really put in time outside of it, so you're kind of getting used to it. And then as you get more involved with the team and different projects, that tends to increase over time. Um, and I think generally we do a pretty good job of balancing, you know, school obviously comes first over everything. So um, it's kind of just something you figure out as you go, but mm -hmm. it's definitely not like you're fully submerged right away. For you guys personally, what are some like tips, I guess, that you have then for maybe people who are in CS um, and like trying to balance classes and a project team what has been like most useful for you? I think something that I use a lot is like, uh, I write down all my deadlines, like in a planner calendar where I can see like in one page, everything throughout the semester. So I can really plan my assignments ahead. So, uh, and I think that's something they tell you, like if you take X280 or X281, it's like start your assignment <laughs> at the first day. And that's true, especially if you're involved in a project team. So like you can actually balance being on both. Yeah, a lot of members tend to do their work here as well. So it's kind of like another way to oh, cool. school as well. So there's a group of people that you know are in the same classes that you can work with. That's perfect. And then I guess to close off or like the last question I have is for each of you, what has been your favorite part of Mass or your favorite memory that you've had so far? Oh, been that's, on the table yeah, <laughs> I think that's a great question. I would say that my favorite memory of Massa, I, I think it was like, uh, so during COVID year, basically the team was working entirely virtual mm -hmm. and I was like back at home. So I couldn't meet everyone else. 
So last year when school came back, we hosted like a barbecue party and everyone got uh, got to see each other again. So I think, that, yeah, that was like a pretty nice moment, just like having the opportunity to see the new mem the members again. That was awesome. Uh, I think for me, maybe going to Southern California and testing because it's pretty cool seeing all of your work kind of like finally result in something, especially when you're with people from your team. It was pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I think my favorite part of the team is um, one, just having cool projects to work on that aren't really related to school necessarily. Like there's a lot of stuff to get involved with um, before it would be covered in a class. Um, but I think the most cool part of the team is just the people that are on it. It's really a great um, community of people that are all interested in one thing um, and working towards a, a joint goal. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. Well, I think then I don't see any questions in the chat here. Um, but I really appreciate you guys answering those questions. Um, I want to join Massa now personally. <laughs> really cool. So um, it's really exciting to hear about all the projects you have um, and the software team that you're the new software team, for, especially for CS people. Um, and like I mentioned, this will be posted on YouTube for people to watch later. Um, and then I don't know if you guys want to mention maybe your email or something. Maybe people can reach out to. You. Um, I don't know if you know off the top of your head. <laughs> um, just so it'll be like in the recording um, for people to reach out to. Yeah. Too. I'm getting the email right now. So. I can like type it into chat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just in case any questions. Um, but your Instagram is also linked here, so I'm sure they can. Yeah. Also your Instagram. Yes. So if you're also interested in joining the team, you can just send an email to, mm -hmm. and then we'll figure out how to get here. It's also on our, our website as well. Our website will have all the contact information as well as all the leads. Um, so if you're interested in a specific team, you can contact one of them directly. <laughs> Perfect. That's okay. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you everyone for joining us as well. Um, I really appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Thank, thank you. you.